He's considered by many as an evil genius. Some call him the Leonardo da Vinci of pain. Others call him the bearded saint or the godfather of the woods. It's Lazarus Lake, the man who tests the limits of the human body more than anyone else every single year. If you don't already know, Lake has achieved a very special status in the athletics community, as he creates the most difficult races and grueling competitions that the ultra scene has to offer hands down. Many people know this man from his ever-popular and somewhat twisted Barkley Marathons race, where athletes have to complete five loops of an extremely hilly marathon course through the winding, cold, and complicated woods of Tennessee. There's a very popular documentary about this very race, which I'll make sure to link down below, and was actually my introduction to Lazarus Lake back in 2015. But the race that just made headlines over the previous few days was the Biggs Backyard Ultra, which actually has a very simple but special design unlike any other race in the world. When competing in this ultra race, competitors are subject to a 4.167 mile loop and they have to complete this loop within a one hour time span. And after the one hour mark, they can do whatever they want. They can stretch, they can sleep, they can eat, anything goes. The only catch is upon hitting the very next hour mark, runners have to be ready and start their next loop. And upon starting this loop, the one hour timer again starts. If you're doing some basic math to complete the loop, you'll need to cover each mile in 14 minutes and 23 seconds. And while this by itself isn't too much of a challenge, the test isn't really with your physical capabilities, it's with your mind. After the first day, many people are still in this race, and if you're doing the math, the full 24 hour time span results in a 100 mile achievement. The reason that each lap is 4.16 miles is because that lends itself to a 100 mile race in 24 hours. With every single detail of his races, Lazarus Lake finds a way to make things make sense, and this 100 mile accomplishment is actually very special, as many people do try to run a 100 mile race within a 24 hour period. Now it's amazing how many people are actually still running after one whole day, but you might be surprised to hear that there were many people that didn't just run for one, two, or even three days, but we had multiple athletes running after four entire days. Some people's bodies completely give up within a 48 hour or 72 hour time span, and it makes perfect sense considering they're sleep deprived and they are probably lacking crucial nutrients to get through this race. But incredibly, the winner of this race was Harvey Lewis, who in my opinion is an absolute legend, and he completed 108 loops, meaning that he ran 450 miles in about four and a half days. This is the current world record for the Backyard Ultra, and it took down the previous record by seven complete loops. And I am honestly completely baffled and blown away that someone could complete 108 loops and still survive because that would be pushing the entire human spirit to a completely different dimension. What I really like about this race is that it really puts the athletes in complete control and it is important to mention that ER Varies from Canada completed 107 loops. So this was clearly a two person race up until the very end. And the only way that you can completely win this race is if you complete the final loop by yourself. This race results in a lot of carnage on the actual running circuit. You'll get blisters, you'll get sleep deprived, you'll probably experience some form of sleep running, which is an actual thing in the ultra community. However, looking past beyond the insanity that is this very race, you have to respect what Harvey Lewis just did. This is unlike any other ultra run that I have ever seen, and there's actually a lot of amazing live streams, and we'll make sure to link those down below as well, so make sure to check those out. But for now, just imagine running 450 miles in four and a half days, because that is truly some next Next level insanity. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.